Hello, in this lesson we'll go for a new dialog and this new dialog will consist out of old sentences and the old words you already know. What's new? Well, new will be your understanding of the grammatical part of this dialog. Before we were using it the way I, I was saying, so I was giving you the sentence and you needed to repeat it after me and basically learn it. We were getting a feeling to the Russian language, but for now I prepared for you grammatical section on the Russian online university website. So. Uh, in case you haven't done it so far, go and it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced learner, uh, it will be helpful for you to structureize your knowledge about Russian grammatic. So let's start. Now imagine yourself in a situation where you need to ask may I. May I in Russian would be можно, 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 with the emphasis on о, можно. And the possible answer would be да, можно, yes, you may. Да, можно, мож, но. Can you hear the difference between the question and uh, the answer? Можно, да, можно. Pronounce it with me. Можно, можно, да, можно, да, можно. May I? Yes, you may. So basically, while we're asking, we're raising our intonation, and when we're answering, the intonation is monotonous. Another possible answer would be пожалуйста. Пожалуйста. Written пожалуйста, pronounced пожалуйста. Пожалуйста. We are removing e and changing a to o, пожалуйста. If you pronounce it as пожалуйста, it's a bit trickier. Especially you, you will have some difficulties with pronouncing e. This is, I know what for sure. And the right way of pronouncing it, пожалуйста. There are two different uh, pronunciation rules within, and uh, you can learn them in the phonetic section. However, with the words like пожалуйста, you will listen them so often that uh, it won't be a big problem for you to memorize the way the way to pronounce. However, for everything what I'm pronouncing it here and the Russian way, so once I'm starting to speak Russian, I'm slowing down. And uh, I suggest you pronounce it with me and pronounce it aloud. And once you recognize that your pronunciation is different from mine, go back and pronounce it again. So let's go on. Um, well, Можно is uh, general, may I? So let's assume you're going to a lobby of a hotel and you see a bowl of apples. And you know those apples are for free. This happened to me a few days ago. And uh, But still, to, to be polite, I'm asking, можно? And the clerk, the receptionist, said, да, можно, пожалуйста. But in our situation, we are knocking on the door of our friend. And uh, we are knocking and asking, можно? And our friend answers, yes, yes, you may, да, можно. And we're greeting him, привет, Андрей, привет, привет, Андрей, Андрей. So, привет, Андрей, Андрей is a very common Russian name, a male name. And uh, we want to start a conversation, we are... Um, amazed about his flat or we are interested in his flat so we want to start with uh, are you living here? Ты живешь здесь? Ты живешь живешь здесь? Ты живешь здесь? And his answer, yes, I'm living here. Да, я живу здесь. Да, я живу здесь. Ты живешь здесь? Да, я живу здесь. Yes, I live here. But we know he's got a flatmate and uh, his flatmate's name is Alex. So we want to ask, and Alex is also living here. А Alex тоже живет здесь. А Alex, Alex 
тоже, тоже живет, живет здесь. А Алекс тоже живет здесь. We are interested if Alex is also living here. So we raise our intonation on Alex. А Алекс тоже живет здесь. With the emphasis on O. Here, we, because we got your, we are emphasizing on your. А Алекс тоже живет здесь. So there are different emphases. Just for every different word, for every new word, we got a small uh, raise in our intonation on the syllable where <laughs> this word is, uh, this word is uh, uh, supposed to be highlighted. Don't worry about this. The most important thing is to understand that if we want to know if Alex is also living here, we need to raise our intonation on Alex. А Alex тоже живет здесь? And uh, the answer is yes, Alex is also living here. Да. Alex тоже живет здесь. Alex тоже живет здесь. З, Д, С. Written здесь, pronounced здесь. Instead of the, we are pronouncing it с, здесь. Да, Alex тоже живет здесь. Again, the question, а Alex тоже живет здесь? And Alex is also living here. The answer, да, Alex тоже живет здесь. Monotonous answer. Actually, you will realize later on that it's not really monotonous and there is actually a highlight and uh, uh, there is something uh, to to create a melody of this uh, of this of the answer and of the question however for you just to to understand that the alex тоже живет здесь you're not supposed to highlight uh, highlight a sentence on да on alex on тоже on живет because you might create something uh, closer to question rather than to answer so pronounce it, it monotonously And uh, meanwhile, in a question, you want to know if Alex is also living here. А Alex тоже живет здесь? Да, Alex тоже живет здесь. And now, uh, Andrei wants to introduce us to his flat. So he's, uh, he's telling, this is our room. Это наша комната. Это наша Комната. Ком. На. Та. This is M. Комната. Это наша комната. Комната ends in A, meaning it's feminine. So we are choosing our in the feminine form. Это наша комната. Это наша комната. Uh, all of these uh, rules, and if you, for example, don't know why we are choosing uh, наша, And we are repeating this, actually, this concept here. Uh, you can find in the grammatic section of Russian Online University. Very useful and I'm suggesting you to come over and over again and uh, learn the Russian grammatic. It helps you in understanding concepts and helps you in understanding the language. Don't try to memorize grammatic. Just try to understand the concepts. And at some point you will understand, well, комната is feminine. I know it because I learned it or because I can construct, I can understand. I got a feeling what is feminine, what is masculine, and I know the, where to use наша. The same with ты живешь, я живу, Alex живет. We are changing our verb according to the personal pronoun. You can also learn it in the grammatic section. But now Andrei uh, continues to introducing. So he is um, he's telling we are living together. Мы живем вместе. Мы живем, живем вместе. Вместе. Вместе is together. Мы живем вместе. We are living together. We living together. Again, ты живешь, you are living, я живу, I am living. Алекс живет, Алекс is living. And мы живем, we are living. 
learn it in the grammatic section. It's very important, very uh, essential concept of Russian language. So, мы живем вместе. We living together. Uh, this is my bed. Это моя кровать. Это моя моя кровать. Кровать. This, my, bed, кровать. Ends in soft sign. We, we cannot know the uh, gender of кровать, of bed. Uh, so for understanding the gender, or for getting to know the gender, we need to take dictionary and check it. And I'm telling you, кровать is feminine. That's why we're choosing feminine, my. This is my, bed. Это моя кровать. However, if you know the grammatic, and you are coming across the sentence. You already know word kravat, bed. And you already know that maya is feminine my. So even if you wouldn't know, for example, that kravat is feminine, your logic, your internal logic would tell you, okay, well, maya kravat in this sentence makes kravat feminine. And this is how actually language uh, cre is created in your head. Not through using a dictionary over and over again, which is kind of boring but for understanding the concepts and uh, using them and projecting them on new concepts within the language. So, on new words, on new situations. So, это моя кровать. This my bed. And, а это кровать Алекса. And this bed is Alex's. А это кровать кро Алекса. Алекса. А это кровать Алекса. And this bed is Alex's. So we get Alex. And to make it Alex's, we add A in the end. Uh, this is also explained in the grammatic section. Uh, however, here you just, uh, if you learn the sentence, you can use it as the model for explaining something. So uh, let's say, Это моя ручка. This is my pen. А это ручка Алекса. And this pen is Alex's. Это моя книга. This is my book. А это книга Алекса. And this book is Alex's. So the fact that you're writing it down and the fact that you're pronouncing it with me uh, creates in your head some structures and some universal uh, uh, models of sentences which you will be able to use later on. So try to uh, read it, try to pronounce it. This is our table. Это наш стол. Это наш стол. Стол is table. L is consonant, so it makes стол masculine. We need to choose our accordingly, so we choose our mas masculine our. Это наш стол. And now uh, Andrei tells uh, Mayo Mesta this. This is my place. Mayo Mayo Mesto Zdes. And Alexis is here. A Alexa Zdes. A Alexa Alexa Tam. So, I'm sorry, not здесь, but там. Моё место здесь. My place is here. And Alex is there, over there. Моё место здесь, а Алекса там. Again, we, che we add a in the end of Alex to make it Alex's, belonging to Alex. А Алекса там. Место is neutral. It ends in o. So, we got neutral место. And we need to choose my accordingly. Моё место здесь. My place is here. А Алекса там. So we get a full monitor. Let's exercise them. All of these words are kind of important. They are all from the frequency lists. And uh, we also got few concepts and few grammatical uh, things which are useful to repeat. So, можно. Можно is you may. How would we ask, may I? Можно. We emphasize on O. We raise our intonation. Можно. 
And the answer is yes, you may. Да, можно. Or please, пожалуйста. Пожалуйста. Try to pronounce it with me. Пожалуйста. Привет, Андрей. Hello, Андрей. Привет, Андрей. Ты живешь здесь? Ты живешь здесь? So we emphasize here он живешь, because we know if he is living here. Ты живешь здесь? And Andrei is answering, yes, I'm living here. Да, я живу здесь. Да, I live here. Да, я живу здесь. А Алекс тоже живет здесь? And Alex also living here. А Alex тоже живет здесь. How would you say also? Тоже. Тоже. А Alex тоже живет здесь. And Alex also living here. Yes, Alex also living here. Try to read it. Да, Alex тоже живет здесь. Yes, Alex also living here. This is our room. Это наша комната. Комната ends in a feminine. We take наша accordingly. Feminine наша. This is our room. Это наша комната. Мы живем вместе. We living together. Мы живем вместе. Это моя кровать. This is my bed. Кровать feminine моя. Это моя кровать. А это кровать Алекса. And this is Alex's bed. This bed Alex's. Это наш стол. This is our table. Это наш стол. Стол ends in consonant. It's masculine. So we are taking masculine our. Это наш стол. This is our table. My place is here. My place here. Мое место здесь. And место is neutral. It ends in O. So we are taking мое. Мое место здесь. And Alex's is over there. А Алекса там. Мое место здесь, а Алекса там. My place is here and Alex's is there. How would you say my place is here? Мое место здесь. So, мое место здесь, а Алекса там.